Do you think the players are, are still responding to this coaching staff or are they tuned them out? I don't have a comment for that. Thank you. Thank you. As far as the disconnect, I think, you know, something was something was up. This was probably our most difficult year, you know, as me and him went. Um just me, uh, you know, being caught up in just college and, you know, still being, you know, feeling like I'm stuck in the same place. Uh it was difficult for me to, you know, some days, you know, bring that same energy and pop. And I believe me and him kind of had a disconnect, you know, in that aspect. But I want you guys to know, and you know, everybody to know that Coach Mack is a great coach. And I really, you know, believed in him and, you know, bought into what he had to say, and you know, to do for the last, you know, three and a half years. And, um, you know, he has a wonderful family. He's a wonderful guy. And, you know, I don't want anything to, undermine any of that and the things that he did here in his you know career at Louisville and the way that we, he went out I believe it was you know as a man and he stood on you know the mistakes that he made and he understood that he couldn't make that connection with us and you know he talked to us about that and you know he touched on that and I think that it said a lot about him and just who he was but like I said I think coach Mack is a great coach I think he can coach anywhere in the country and you know be really successful at it so I want you guys to truly know that it was just difficult for him, you know, with this group this year. But he's a great coach. Um, I'll always be on his side. And I know me and him didn't, you know, always see eye to eye this year. But, you know, I always have his back and He'll always have a, you know, friend in me. Unfortunately, uh, we will be without Malik Williams on Tuesday evening. Um, you know, bottom line, Paul, there's, there's a standard in which all of our guys are expected to meet. Um, unfortunately, Malik hasn't met that standard uh, at different times throughout the year. And as a result of that, uh, now that I'm the interim head coach, I feel like it's my duty and responsibility to maintain the character and the integrity in our locker room. And when and if Malik decides if he wants to partake in that, he will be welcomed back with open arms. But until then, I'm going to finish the season. I'm going to play North Carolina. We're going to play North Carolina without him. Um, but again, he has every opportunity to rejoin us. In the meantime, um, you know, we have to do things the right way. We have to be coachable. We have to be everyday guys. We can't fight coaching. We can't fight constructive criticism. Can't do it. Can't have guys to do it. I won't handle it. I won't have it. And uh, it is what it is. So there's, it's one game for now, and yeah. you'll wait and see what happens after that. That's absolutely right. Again, it's one game for now. Uh, we hope that Malik decides to be the guy who he has been at times, which is a good leader and an energetic guy who – has helped us throughout his career. And he's been through a lot. And I feel for the kid, I really do. But at the same time, everybody's been through a lot. And there's no excuse for not being coachable at this point in the season. There's no excuse for not being selfless enough to compete and do things the right way for your team, for this program. And I won't tolerate it. I won't allow one guy in that locker room to do things the wrong way.